Welcome back to our employee engagement series. Today I am joined by Tracy Weldon and Craig Davidson. How are you guys doing? Doing very well. Thanks. Doing good. That's good. All right, so you guys are involved in something called the, the Sand Fest, right? Tell, tell me about that. Um, it's an annual tournament we put on every year for a fundraiser uh, for the little lighthouse. Um, we run a few divisions for adults and for juniors, four, sixes, doubles. We do a little bit of everything. Been doing it for 14 years, I believe. Wow, 14 years. And how did that get started? I have a son that went to school at the Little Lighthouse, and they have several fundraisers that they put on. And I was really into volleyball at the time, um, and I just saw that the volleyball community as a way, if we put on a tournament, we could raise a little extra money for them. So that's kind of how it got started, and it's grown from there. Okay, and, and for the viewers who don't know, what, what, what's the Little Lighthouse? Uh, the Little Lights out. it's a school here in Tulsa for special needs kids. Um, actually, Webco has been a corporate sponsor for the Little Lighthouse for years. What exactly do they provide at the Little Lighthouse? Uh, it's basically a preschool for kids ages one through six, special needs kids. Uh, they provide the basic preschool education, but it also comes along with uh, physical therapy, speech therapy, occupational therapy. All of those services are provided, and it's tuition free. Uh, they don't charge tuition to anybody. So um, it's a very helpful tool to a lot of people in the Tulsa area. Yeah, absolutely. It sounds like it. Is there any other people involved besides you guys? Yeah, there's um, leagues in town called Tulsa Volleyball League. Um, Nick and Bumper are guys that have helped us out with that. They provide lines and just give support with the tournament, whatever it be. Uh, yeah. Schedule around us and help, help us get the word out. Um, there's a, for the junior side, David Blakemore runs uh, OC Volleyball Club. He's a commissioner for OKRVA. And he, he pushed the juniors division to us where this year we had close to, I think, 80 teams. Quite like a few, 80 yeah. to 90 teams across two days with juniors division. So uh, he's been a big help with that and, and really got that going for us. So okay. Yeah, and you said it's been going on for 14 years. Like, how far has that come? Oh, it, when we first started, I think the very first year I had it was a grass tournament. Uh, we had like five or six teams. Um, the next year, he, I knew Craig before the tournament. Uh, I started the tournament, but I didn't know how involved he had gotten into volleyball. So uh, when I found out how involved he was, he was kind of the connection uh, that steered us toward sand, and it's grown ever since. I had played basketball and volleyball with Tracy. He's kind of one of the guys that taught me how and uh, I had started running tournaments around the Tulsa area and he knew that I was still kind of into it and doing that type of thing and asked if I wanted to help out and do it as sand instead of grass. And that's kind of how it came about. Yeah, and, uh, and how do these tournaments uh, help out the Little Lighthouse? Uh, it raises a little bit of money for the Little Lighthouse um, and initially that was my goal, just to raise what money we could for them. Uh, but with the juniors getting involved and even people that had been involved in years previous in the tournament, I found out that they had kids in high school that needed volunteer hours, community service hours and stuff. The Little Lighthouse is huge on volunteers. Uh, so that's kind of why we kept the entry fees low to get in the tournament and stuff because we wanted the more people that we could get um, the word out to. Uh, the more possibility for volunteers and stuff. So it, it was kind of a, a two-fold um, opportunity there, raise some money and gain volunteers for the Little Lighthouse. And over the years, we've got quite a few that uh, have gone from the tournament to the Little Lighthouse, done a lot of good. So okay. Yeah, and, and how exactly do you get the word out with that? Uh, well, Craig's hooked up on the social media end of that. Like he said, he's ran tournaments and stuff in Tulsa, so... He's on Facebook, and the Tulsa Volleyball League has a page. Uh, we get out that way, but a lot of it's just footwork. Craig goes out and plays leagues, and we, we, we make flyers up every year. Uh, I'll go out on nights that I know they're holding leagues and hand out flyers, and he hands them out. We'll hang them up out there. So it's word of mouth. And then a lot of it, too, is just people that have played before. When summer starts rolling around, they'll start calling us and asking, hey, when's the little lighthouse tournament? So it's not hard to get the word out, really. It's, it's kind of become like a, the popular annual tournament in the Tulsa area. We get the same people year after year in fours and sixes divisions, and 
Um, there's a lot of names that keep coming back year to year, and we're, we're thankful for all them. Yeah, absolutely. How many teams do we have here? Webco. This is really the first year that Webco's been involved. We've had people from Webco play before, uh, but Craig kind of pitched it to the health and wellness group, and this year we had eight Webco teams. I think so. Uh, which those are sixes, so that's at least 48 people from Webco that were involved, and that's across all divisions. So it was a very good turnout from Webco. Yeah, they covered their entry fees and provided shirts for all everyone who participated. Um, outside of that, we get maybe, across sixes and fours divisions, we get maybe 20, 20 teams. I think the max we had between sixes and fours one year was like 45 teams, um, probably five or six years ago. Uh, it just depends on what weekend it falls on how many people we get in. Juniors, again, we had maybe 70 to 80 this year. Um, and then we'll run a doubles division, like adult co-ed, along with juniors sometimes, and we'll get you know 15, maybe 15 teams there max. So, um, And it's usually a two-day tournament, two- to three-day tournament. So, And is it always located at uh, 71st and Riverside, I believe? That's, that's yeah, where we've always had it. Yeah, at Hamlet Park and Riverside. And the city's been really good about working with us on that, too. That's great. All right. If you'd like to learn more about the Little Lighthouse, you can head over to littlelighthouse.org, or you can check out their Facebook page at Little Lighthouse. Otherwise, you can check out our Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram at WebcoTube. Thank you guys for watching, and make sure to keep up with us for our next employee engagement.